Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Short Sale Power Take Hour. Take one. My name is Fred Weaver. My, um, I'm delirious, Fred. Partner Kevin Kaufman, Group 4610, Hi. Arizona's premier short sale team. All right, announcements. This Friday, you already know this, but if you haven't signed up, do it already. Crush It Short Sales in Phoenix, August 13th, this Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Announcement number two. I'm getting through these fast today. Get Yesterday faster. was a waste of time. Yes. Announcement number two is we want Talk you fast. to appear on ShortSellPowerHour.com. You can do so by filming your very own ShortSellPowerHour.com video and posting it on YouTube and emailing it. The directions are right below this video. We'd like you to film a video 10 minutes or less in length on your most ridiculous, crazy, overcoming short sale story you've ever had. I just thought of a new one. What? Can they do a Mindset Monday? They can do a Mindset Monday. Sure, why not? We like Mindset Mondays. Sure. Whatever you want to do. We want your participation. No, it's not because we're too lazy to film. I think we've proved that. Yeah. It's actually what just because today? we like to change things up. August 9th. Yeah. We started this November 9th yeah. of last year. Yeah. How did it's this really today? not August 9th. It's August 11th today, Kevin. Right. Yes. That's what I meant. That's uh, absolutely. Got it. So, hey, guys. Um, anyway, film your video. Send it to us. today. Well, yesterday we got fired up about Freddie and Fanny. Um, I thought maybe we would just continue in the spirit of Freddie and Fanny. So there's been some discussion. Does F stand for failure? There's been some discussion recently, Kevin, about the failures of Freddie and Fanny. F F. Yes. F. Freddie Fanny failure. Or Follow Fanny Friday. Freddie failure. Follow Friday, like sure. on Twitter. And F -F. the discussion um, started a while ago. Um, we heard some rumblings inside of Bank of America about them not wanting to postpone foreclosure sale dates for Fannie Mae back loans. Yeah. And then our good buddy Brian Gubernick, home helper consultants right here in Scottsdale, Arizona. What's his web let's give away his website. Um so home helper consultants. Home helper consultants dot com. And if it's not that, Brian, then you better go buy that really quickly. Quickly, Brian. But quickly. you'll watch this video like two years from now and realize we mentioned your name because you, you don't watch us daily, Brian. So You should though, Brian. You should, Brian. We are the Arizona's premier short sale team. So anyway, our buddy Brian Gubernick actually had a conversation with uh, David Sunlin at Bank of America this past week. Good guy, David. Um, actually Sunlin. last week. And more or less in 30 minutes, Dave summed up to him that Fannie Mae has taken kind of a hard stance on foreclosure sale dates recently. Yeah. Well, I actually want to share something else that goes with that. Because okay. kind of in the last few days, we've gotten these little bits of informa information yeah, from different More pieces. and more coming as we're Probably allowed to talk more about it. Soon. Uh, but Carrie, one of our short sell power hour viewers, hi Carrie, by the way, um, sent me an email, I think it was Friday night, I want to say, going, oh my God, what is happening? Um, and she noticed that Wachovia, and it didn't specify, now this email did not specify the investors, yeah. but flat out, no longer postponing sale dates no matter where you're at in the transaction. Mm -hmm. and uh, we had Martin Andelman on our show about three or four weeks ago now, and he talked about, Chase, about right? Chase, how Chase came out with this no foreclosure sale date postponement and stuff like that. Well, so. And then I got this weird email from um, ASC and Wells last week. What really was a weird request. I thought it was a weird request. It was definitely something out of the ordinary of the previous, I don't know how many deals we've closed with them. And so I emailed a senior level manager there and said, what, what is this request and why is, why are you asking of that, that of me now? And, and he's in the Fannie Mae division, which I didn't realize at the time. Mm. Um, I mean, I knew that I just, I wasn't thinking about that when I sent him the email. And he responded to me with, you know, there's a lot of buybacks going on and we're having to, you know, cross yeah, and our And he used the word buybacks, which you and I are still kind of trying to sort through what that actually technically uh, means. Yeah, but. I have an idea, but it's, uh, it's not good. Yeah, what it means is at some level the servicers are being um, financially penalized, maybe even to the point of them having to purchase the loan from the investor, is an assumption anyway at this yeah. stage. Um, for postponing sale dates without prior written approval well, or like whatever of the investor. Proper approval, I've been hearing. Proper approval. So we've been hearing all these weird um, rumblings, if you will, yeah. recently, especially around Fannie and Freddie. Yeah, so um, with sale um, dates. I guess this episode is to alert you guys that you're likely to run into some foreclosure sale date postponement problems um, in the near future if you're not already. 
Uh, we'd love for you to leave a comment below if you've already encountered this. Tell us who the servicer was and if you know who the investor was. We'd and, like to know that as well. And I'd like well. to know about the scenario too. Like was yeah. the deal approved? Had you just started the short sale? Yeah, because we're being told we have a deal right now at uh, B of A. It's a Fannie Mae and it's been approved and our first approval letter came over good through September something or other and then and they, they retracted it. that and said, oh no, it's only good through the, I think it's the 18th of August, of so August, next, yeah. next Wednesday. And they said, well, you need to close by the 18th. If you can't, then we can't post we can't the sale date. We can postpone it. So we figured out it was Fannie Mae. So the whole summary here, guys, is you're going to see some of this going on right now. Be aware of it. Um, historically, we've been very confident that you could always get a foreclosure sale date postponed if you had an approval or a good offer on the table when a BPO was already completed and stuff like that, where the bank could see it was worthy of postponing the sale date. But right. the investors are doing some gray area things behind the scenes right now, Whoa. and they're putting a lot of heat and pressure based on what we, we can see on the servicers, kind of like passing the buck almost. So yeah, I, I don't want to like necessarily pity the but, servicers, but I think it's important you know that the servicers are being put in, I guess, uncomfortable situations, if you will. Well, there's good news with this though too. Okay. Right? Um, Fannie has um, lifted their 30 limit, their 30 listing max limit on, on agents. Okay, for REO agents. So REO, REO brokerages. brokers actually. Yeah. Brokers just can have more than They've 30. They've lifted their limits, so that's okay. great news. I think I'm going to go out on a limb and say you're going to see an increase in Fannie Mae foreclosures um, in the third quarter of 2010. Nah. And I think you need to be prepared for it. Now, we're not saying throw in the towel and give up. In fact, I would encourage everybody I'm to saying fight more now than fight, ever. Email the board of directors, email the CEO of Fannie Mae, email anybody and everybody That's you can a... find. Go to jigsaw.com and pull off every Fannie Mae email address. Let's stand up to them as a real estate community and let Fannie Mae know that it's not right that they're just going to foreclose on our borrowers' homes and not postpone sale dates on approved short sales. It, isn't the uh, CEO's email address uh, P-R-E-S-I-D-E-N-T dot O-B-A-M-A at Fannie Mae dot com? Uh, I don't know if it's if it's quite that. You'll have to go look on Jigsaw dot com oh. for, your, for yourself. But here's the deal, guys. If you're sitting here going, well, why would I want to email them or you're just not maybe as aggressive as we are, understand, guys, the federal government, which technically means us taxpayers, own Freddie and Fannie. And I think they deserve to hear from real estate agents who are working hard to help homeowners out of a crisis. What the government has put pressure on Freddie and Fannie to help homeowners avoid foreclosure. And yeah, then they're just going to impose like, these new foreclosure sale date rules and not even really publicly announce it. They're going to do it very no, quietly make, behind the, the scenes. From what I can see, they're making the servicer be the bad guy. Yeah, you got to love that. Which is kind of funny and, you know, screwed up all at once. Um, most people wouldn't do the type of homework that you and I do to understand what's really going on back yeah. there. Um, but yes, no, it certainly looks like the uh, they're letting the servicers take the fall for this one. And, you know, why not? The servicers take the fall on pretty much every other one. I mean, yeah. so... So I, last thing I'm going to share is you may hear a new uh, number as far as foreclosure sale date postponements, and it's 42 days. Gubernick was the first one to alert us for that. Days, yeah. I think Trent Chapman did as well. You may hear them say we can only postpone the sale date up to 42 days. If you Once. start hearing that... Uh, we can only postpone it one time up to 42 days. It's likely Fannie, and I wouldn't be surprised if Freddie's somewhere behind them. I mean, they're kind of like the same at this point as far as both incompetent and incapable of running themselves. Well, they both lose record money. number of so, dollars. Let's wrap it up today, but we're not done on this topic. I think we'll be back with more in the coming days or weeks. There's and a chance of that. I hope my buddy Martin Andelman will maybe weigh in on this shortly. Yeah. And uh, Marty, weigh in, huh? Would you? The rest of you out there, um, give us some feedback already. Like, it's great that we film these videos, but we don't really always know if you watch them till the end. So write something down here and contribute to this conversation because we all actually learn from you. The fact that Carrie emailed you on Friday was like us understanding, we don't deal with that servicer very often that no. emailed her. So us knowing what's going on out there in the community helps helps all of us and empowers more of us. So it's one of the purposes of the blog. One, two, three. Short sale power hour. Short sale power hour. Crush it.